Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, guys. I thought you wanted to sing something to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be talking so shit? Yeah? Thoughting? Whatever. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and I, our podcast. Eventually. I am T, and this is. Who are you? Eventually. Door. <laughs> this is Ara, and we are Motus. <laughs> yeah, we are Motus. Welcome again to our pages. If you're listening on Anchor, if you're listening on Spotify or any other platform where you're, you're listening, please ensure that you follow the show. And if you're watching on YouTube, please ensure that you subscribe and you hit the notification bell. And also, please, this particular video, like, share with your friends, share with everybody right because we are here to just open up everything that we have like a flower for you for you now you're being poetic it sounds like you're, you're doing them <laughs> what's that <laughs> it sounds like you're having a spoken word no. so <laughs> no, i'm not doing spoken word okay okay so what do we talk about and why should you subscribe like if you miss that i think i can then refer you to our announcement video but then just a very short summary of the you know aim and purpose of why we are motives, in your faces yeah. so we are a movement mm. and we are about mm. sharing our lifestyle implying that it's a lifestyle channel as well as talking about faith we talk about faith, faith and lifestyle faith being the center of the lifestyle yeah. so it's not that we have faith for no reason it's worth into it works its way into every detail along in our life yeah as a believer using the bible as the standard of our living using the word of god and the gospel as the standard of our our being our totality mm. our response to, to life circumstances and exactly. circumstances yeah. so how do we get by as 21st century child of god or children of god thank you son okay because i corrected myself yeah whatever <laughs> That's first century church boy, church girl. How do you do it and yeah. still maintain being involved, being informed, standing for the gospel irrespective, yeah. not dope, doffing your heart for the world, not mm. succumbing to the standards to the pressure, or even confirming to the society, your pressure to, to 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 the norms that the world peer believes. pressure exactly things that you find normal people around your age doing not when, wanting to belong exactly just sit back and look at everything from the perspective of the scriptures so, which yeah. makes you the solution to the world problem and if you conform to the world standards you can't solve their problem, problem multiplying eventually okay so today we're talking about how much it has been so much of a work overwhelming <sighs> being an adult yeah like I want to break. You want Can't, a break. Like, I, like literally, I want to break and I want a break. That's you be poetic. Eventually. Duh. Okay. So, I, I, I really wish I could have like six months vacations twice every year. That's you being lazy. No, that's not being lazy. Like, I'm tired. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. tired. <laughs> oh, it's, not, it's not been easy, right? Because, uh, you know, something about boxing is that people that fight actually boxers officially right or professionally at some point they give them break for my life no they give person break or oh. mm. one finish person like say back to back knockout and you like what's a jab 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 because jab. really what is you're finishing or getting out of one problem you're getting into another thing it's Challenge. not like it's too problematic or something Challenge. yeah problems though i won't lie about that yeah, problems yeah you want me to use the word challenge but i've heard you we are children of god okay but then sometimes you just get so choking like it took <clears throat> you're grasping for breath like what the heck like, lord am i the only one on the head give me a break why is all this happening to you me? get there are some times that you know it just happens in succession it's yeah. like a roller coaster or a domino effect everything from one to another for instance somebody losing job and then getting at the same or the same month or the next month getting a quick notice and then so many things it's no it's to be a quick notice actually okay, not a quick, they, they a quick yeah a lot of people make mistakes that's why i say that speculations 
spread faster than facts. Mm. Yeah. Yes. That would be another topic to embrace. Though. Another time. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. adulting, adulting. Yeah. For you, how has it been? Um, or you like you like being an adult? You eat two meat on your food. You why are you just? Why are you telling us what you are you enjoying as an adult? No, like that like you uh, have license to go into the world like because you're paying If I can deal. escape this life, I think I would actually, um, I would go for it. But you know that this actually zeroes it in zeroes it in on the fact that we can't be adults without jesus <laughs> in this age as i saw he post sometimes say adulting without jesus you want to faint you want to die is <laughs> death like death you're going to keep struggling oh. like especially when most times you're putting people ahead of you mm. you're not even putting your own needs ahead like mm. when you are putting like you know that you have to feed yeah. your mom you have to feed your family. siblings yeah. Come on. like it's a whole lot and for a man if you want to marry again if you want a woman that we will, will carry into your house you have to be sure that both of you or whatever you have the resources you have is enough to cater for both parties with the picture that more parties are still coming to join the party. Hmm, happy party. Children. <laughs> what a party. Um, <laughs> what we need is the Holy Ghost party. Um, Excuse you. You cannot so, do like, this without Jesus, Holy Ghost, and God back to back. Yes. <laughs> oh, the Trinity. Yeah, it's finished. Oh, like, I'm, I'm just looking at everything around me and I'm like, oh man, adulting is a lot. It's mm. a lot. It's not what I've always envisioned being a young girl because being a young lady or being a little girl, even in secondary school, I've always been like, I want to be that independent young lady that gets her act right, like has everything figured out, has mm. my future figured out, has everything at my beck and call, especially money. But life can happen. Uh, everything you figure out. What life cap Come can happen? Go. Life happens and mm. it disorients everything you might it have given. It disfigures everything you figure like you... I want you to hear that thing. Yes, it disfigures everything you have figured. Dry. Cut. <laughs> dry with emphasis on it. Very dry. Thank you. Whatever. I've heard you. <laughs> so, like, it's just life happens and it disorients. Yes, it mm. distorted my plan. I always wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> Did I say that? Yes, I wanted to be that young lady that helps everybody and have anybody. One thing in I wanted to be a doctor. Too. Everybody wanted to be. Every science student wanted to be a doctor. There are yeah, some that <laughs> yeah. actually went there for engineering. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. The exception. Doctor, engineering. Doctor. Engineering. That's what our parents made us. Nobody knew that you would become UIUX. Hey, but UIUX is money now. Oh, As in cashing out. Not like we're doing advertisement for them, though. <laughs> so, the, the whole idea of adulting, I think if we lose focus of the major reason why we are growing and why we need to get through or get by that phase we would even switch into depression yeah because of how overwhelming it is yeah yeah now it, it, it brings to my uh, mind the fact that one of the reasons why majority of us feel like it's adulting is, in, it, is a lot to handle it's coming it, 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 yeah it's because in a way somehow no matter how little we have this seed of irresponsibility we don't want to be held accountable for anything we just want to have this everything just smooth now i'm not saying that you are irresponsible like irresponsible like you just want like just wake up now someone like, is taking somebody care bring of you. food for you now like you eat the food finish now like you now see your phone you see a lot now <laughs> like you now carry your phone now and say ah thank you for your alert now as you are now standing up now somebody not coming to wear your shoe for you now no, they are now going no, out now. No. You get. So you, I'm not literally saying that you are irresponsible, but I'm just trying to say that, you know, one of the things, vital things that makes an adult an adult is, is that you are responsible. Like very responsible for yourself. Do you understand? Yes. And it's and, not by age; it's by responsibility. Exactly. So that's another and misconception. A ton of responsibility about it. A lot of people think once you turn 18 or you're out of school, then you have become an adult. An adult. No, I can tell you that there are people that have shifted into the adulthood stage even before they were teenagers. Yes. Say, for instance, a child that is the first out of three, but then they don't have anybody to cater for them. Such so child assumes the responsibility of an adult yes. and switches into adulthood mentally and starts to work day and night. And I'm, I can tell, at, at least at least I know some people that will watch this video that the own case is not even as worse as that. What of that child that has been ad- handling adulthood since 
he or she was 12 and still doing so for example till now. Like, i'll give kudos to those that the young young men that actually lost their fathers at a very young age and had to be responsible take the father figure up yes. like now I'll, I'll actually give kudos to those people that didn't have their father figure or their mother figure around that assumed the role of motherhood from it's the very easy. little age it's, it's, it's a lot like it's kudos easy. to you thank god for the strength that has been given to you from that age and we know that you are doing a great job it's mm. not even time to lose it because you have nurtured children yes i know you at some point you want to even take time out for your own self but yes you have raised some young people mm. that are doing well and you should mm. be proud of yourself yeah you did well yeah. kudos to you yeah. kudos to you yeah so i i think the this old adulting theme being a scam and being too stressful young people of nowadays just want to elude it and avoid mm. it yeah. and jump right into not even working and not even embracing everything at their back and call by going into yeah. dubious stuff like that that's a lot you see yeah. how it has a negative effect and how we can still choose to hold on to the positive aspect with, yeah. which is God in the middle of the storm, yeah. in the middle of the challenges not even Nigeria in this generation mm -hmm. not even Nigeria in this in this situation mm -hmm. the way the uh, price of oil is going up, there's because, no because electricity you talk about Nigeria as a whole see, ah. your house eh? and then you now go to work you see office sometimes ah, joy soccer yeah. so I did a get pipe especially when you are doing something you do not love <laughs> You Especially get. when you're doing something you do not you love, yeah, something, something that you're not even putting so much passion into, mm -hmm. uh, you, 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 you can relate. I know you can relate. Please let me let me know what your, your view is in the comment section. Mm. What can you like just ex explain? What has adulting been like for like you? How for have you, you been able to manage it? How, how have you been able to get by yeah. every day, waking but, up to rest? But I would say, for me, yeah, for me, one of the things that has helped me is the reassurance that. God is with me and I have a better tomorrow promised by God. Even when it seems like it's not tangible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That, that's where the question and then, comes and, and then if you now can think back on how you've been and where you are, the little progress, the little wins, it might seem so infinitesimal, but then you're making progress actually. But you know that this way, the way you just said it now, it seems easy, but you know it's not very easy. It's not easy. I won't lie. I Do you have had about, 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 about my own exactly about, about my own um, for me um it's been it's been somewhat crazy because um you have to assume this state of being responsible and that's actually one of the things that defines adulthood. I had to assume that age right from a heavy age. My own is even still better compared to some people. For instance, the analogy I gave. Right. But then for me, I started working even before I entered college or anything, immediately after secondary school actually. I started working around the age of 15, thereabout, and then everything I was hearing at that time, nothing was being used by me for me. Did you get? I would still have to take the old money and take it back to my mom, take it out for some things that we needed to fix up in the house. And then it became a succession for me. That was how it was happening. Responsible you young know, went to college, I finished from College of Health, started working again, the same thing. And then I went to school, university, and I finished university, same thing again. Right? And it's not like I'm the firstborn because, of course, my siblings too were responsible. I think it was. A collective thing for all of us okay right because we know that okay we are this in number and then one person's salary is not enough so everybody has to join resources together mm -hmm. too and from there i started learning responsibility so most of the time you find me looking out for other people more than myself myself yes though you get just switching into that mode on time can actually affect a whole lot of things in a, in a person's life because let's be realistic every child everybody every single person needs their childhood experience yes. needs their teenage years yes. for themselves to be children to be teenagers yes. not adults you understand and so sometimes i some people be like oh ara what are you doing like eventually at some point i still want to be a child so he finds its way out even at this age <laughs> expression you get yeah but then switching into the mood of being responsible responsible for a whole lot of things at a early age yeah it has its own benefits let's not be, let's not lie about that that's own benefits like you said whatever is not god sent eventually becomes god's 
God used. Mm. You get yes. so being exposed to such is, and then still facing the same thing now, and then you're still gonna probably face the same thing all, all through, through your yeah, life you because you're gonna have kids, you're gonna get married, like can yes, that was one break. And then in the middle of all these things, challenges will come up. Yes. Maybe an issue at work uh, or something something happens with someone and then you just can I just have a break? And then you'll be like, Oh, okay, maybe one money you got one now. Say, ah, I want to use this for this, use this for this, save this, save this. And then you they will just come and knock your door, co 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 transform our blue. If everybody <laughs> should contribute on Eventually, those are circumstances that are actually beyond our power that they are unforeseen circumstances. I, unknown gunmen, unknown gun. How did that come? Ungun, ungun, no me. Ungun, no, don't mind me. That those are stuff we do not plan for, but mm. happens out of the blues. Mm. But what just keeps us sane in this? A lot of people have actually lost their sanity as a result of like, this adult. Like it's we are enough about. to lose one's sanity actually. Mm. But Jesus also went through this midlife crisis. True went through mm. adults <laughs> so what are we talking about ah, and I, can, I, can, I can imagine mary and joseph when Jesus was about entering his teenage years don't work you, you were looking for him where is this boy where is this boy unlike us i know some of you when they were looking for you the other you went to game house <laughs> or you went to go and play ball speak for yourself <laughs> but jesus was found in the temple speak for yourself bro speak for yourself well um, i was never the outgoing person so you are never looking for me and even if you are I'm in the only friends house I had then. I don't have so many friends. Even to now, how many friends do you have? I have God. friends. Jesus. By affiliation. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, nice. If you know, you know. If you don't get, forget <laughs> about it. <laughs> but wait for the clap back. I'm going to do my own back. Don't. Revenge is of the Lord. Yeah, I'm not revenging, just for that a tooth for a tooth and an no, eye for that was in an the eye. Old Testament. Duh. Jesus is good. <laughs> so let's not lose focus. Look, lose yeah. focus on what we're talking about. How do we remain sane in this scenario or in this life, in this age, in this generation when things mm-hmm. are demanding for you to lose your sanity, waking up to um explosion in one part of the world a it's especially that the kaduna um yeah, abuja train. train station we actually my dad used to stay in kaduna so i know the train station very well it's a place that people have the ideology that even if the road is not safe because the road is not safe it's just a two hours drive from kaduna to abuja from abuja to kaduna mm. it's a two hours drive mm. and actually from when I got there during my IT days, that's like since 2019, it's mm. not been safe. Bandits just come in the middle, in broad daylight, in the middle of the road and wow. pick people up or even shoot wow. and rob. So it's been very, very bad from wow. when I remember. So now people had the ideology that train is the safest means of transportation but being in a, in this generation where you wake up to a bad news you wake up to different news, news of, even, even, even the public transport that i think to be safe too Pretty everything true, just yeah. going wrong how do we deal how do we keep sane and still trying to be responsible and keep all of those aside have, 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 still, have you ever I experienced think, this, this type of place of work where i have not I, anyway let me Right, not, not even target. Ah, sorry, target. Eh? Ah, that target is another thing. Your I, see, I just thought blow. about it. And you will have monthly targets or weekly targets. There are some that, it, whether you are sick, you have to come to the office. Can you imagine? Unless you bring a doctor's report. And not just any other doctor's report. I can relate to that because that happens in my place of work. <laughs> not like I'm throwing shades or anything, but literally, a woman, which, which happens to be my colleague in the lab, came to work with a swollen mouth obviously she's sick and she came with a doctor's report showing that she missed work because she went for treatment and eventually they still took her salary out for a whole week they will take it out that's what they do like if you do not come sometimes they don't even ask you for questions i think we won't talk about this work environment of the thing because that one is another topic how do you do come on how do you do imagine like it's a lot that she's not feeling well and then they see when i get to deduct her salary come on that's a lot for her and you not say people are switching into depression and all those things that's literal cheating every human has it's not good for in like that was not god that was not god's plan for everybody to fall sick but yes there are some times that things just happen the body to becomes be, weak be, you, even if you build robots today one time one time the battery go low we are human beings you need rest 
Come on. And especially, especially when it comes to working environment, ah. because people lose their lives in that thing, and they make it very obvious that you are very. You know the most annoying part for me. What's that? When the person, God forbid, the person now dies. You are replaceable. They will not just do one minute silence. I will not be up to one minute. That's what they do in my factory, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they will not do. It's not, it's not, it's not let's, a joking stuff, let's, actually. Let's, let's, let's do one minute silence for most Yoruba people used to say that the life length of work is more than your own life length. Mm. So don't come and come and go and kill yourself. I'm not telling you to be lazy. I'm not telling you not to be diligent with your work. Right? But then, when if you are if you are an employer of labor here, you have people working under you and you're watching this, please try to be nice to your employees. Try to stay reasonable and relatable to them. Especially it's, check it's on them easy. mentally. It's not easy. We complain that everybody just has in depression, depression, depression. It is actually happening. People are getting depressed by a whole lot of things. And they, just they, crashing they, they in, sink, in their they world. They sink into it. They, you keep Come sinking. On. You keep sinking. Especially when easy. you do not speak up. Just check up on people. It, it really matters. Especially as adults. To even relieve yourself mm. of the old tension. I'm, and I'm, 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 I don't know. I'm just I'm somewhere right now i don't know Sound nice. <laughs> you can be crazy i'm telling you i'm i'm telling you you can be crazy if you can relate to all of this please let us know your view in the comment section I, and if you have questions please do not hesitate to ask but, us but then we, we we are not living life as those that are not knowledgeable to understand we have we have the word of god but has given us assurances and many of them the that everything will be fine yes. the book of god says in the roman in the book of romans chapter 8 verse 18 which happens to be my own anthem for life my own personal scripture for life no matter what i'm going through i go back to that scripture okay. right contextually the passage was talking about us being translated into glory right but then i i just hold on to it anytime i'm in a space of discouragement anytime i'm in a place of a whole lot of things i just you just want to suck the life out of me i hold on to that passage as is for i reckon that the sufferings of these present times mm. cannot be compared to mm. the glory which will be revealed in us mm. so very soon everything is going to turn around Eventually. the brighter days are coming Eventually. you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel and Amen. i'm just trying i'm not i'm not just Amen. trying to be motivational Amen. now Amen. i'm just telling you that i know and we see what you are going through yes. your own might be even tougher than what we are going through yes. but everybody has their own share of it and yes. trust me god is with you on me jeremiah yes. 29 verse 11 i believe yeah. says i know the plans i have for trust you, you. they are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end Come on. surely there is an end of that yeah. anything that has a beginning has an ending so our our take or our stand in the middle of adulting being a scam one issue or a problem is, is you cannot grow you can't even go through this phase mm. without god mm. in this phase of our lives you can't you can't deal you will struggle you you would have issues you will break down you will lose it some people will not even have the satisfaction you might have the money you might you might feel you're not too stressed but then you will feel a void on yes the inside many of you. things will demand for your life yes there is there is a battle ongoing light and darkness something is demanding for your life Mm. and it's because it's of high worth high quality if Mm. not why would the devil be wasting his his time over an empty vessel so you have a lot to offer and in the middle of this what what there's this there's this phrase my, my pastor usually use and he says that Peace is not the absence of trouble. Mm. Peace is not the absence of um, issues around you. But it is your security in the middle of it. Hmm. That's why I said it will give you a peace that surpasses all human understanding. That in the the middle of that situation, it says that those who have their hearts stayed on him, he keeps in perfect Perfect peace. peace. Hmm. so perfect peace is not like there's no problem mm-hmm. but in the middle of it when it is challenging when the going gets tough oh my god when the going gets tough what is your stay what is who is your anchor hmm. what are you holding on to this hmm. song you know the songwriter says that thing jesus is our anchor you, you brought something to to my mind again when you said something about peace in the midst of the storm the popular passage that we know when the disciples and jesus were in the storm yes everything was going on but jesus was right there it might seem like he's it might seem like he's, he's quiet it might he's seem sleeping. like he's not there but at the prompting just go to him and trust me 
you will find that peace and funny enough when jesus wanted to respond to that storm what did he use he said peace be still peace so trust me in your adulting stage you can only get by by the peace that comes from god trust me you can just hold on and embrace this confession I have peace. I have peace. I have peace. I have peace peace over this situation. I hope I have peace over this challenge at work. I have peace over this money issue I am having. I have peace over my health. I have peace peace over my mind. I have peace peace in every area of my life. This is our stand. This is our anthem because we do not live by sight but yeah. we live by faith. by faith faith in the word of god faith comes by hearing and hearing what the, the word, word of god, god. so, so pick adulthood up, eventually pick up that bible becomes a walkover by reading you the will word. find everything that you need to go through adult age yes adult age adult, adulting 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 <laughs> all right so I, I believe today's episode has been a blessing to you yes if it has been please ah, it blessed me Drop a comment below, yes. please. Let's know. Let us know, say. and let us know the country you're listening from. Okay? Yes. I think you, you, want, you want to know that, okay? Yes, I so, would want to. Thank you so much we for joining us. We love you. Me. Please like, subscribe, and share. Yes, please. Hit the notification bell too for more of this. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. For now, we are glad to have you here. We are saying bye. We are glad to have them here, and we love them. Oh, I love you. You know I do. <laughs> Even if I do, I, I didn't know that was what you wanted to see. But yeah. You know I do. I love you. With the love of God. Okay. It's not a reminder of that. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. We can't wait to have you back here. Bye-bye.